Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Settle down now. Settle down. Last trick before we uh, introduce you to young Josh, who you're going to love. Because Josh is a, a very good and up-and-coming magician, and you might see him on the telly soon. But just before I, I uh, began the show, um, in fact, last week when I was talking to Mr. Harvin, Mr. Harvin said to me, Mark, would you mind if I, uh, I did a magic trick at the end? And I said, yeah. <laughs> he said, no, but can I? I said, sure. Do you know any? He said, no. But can you teach me one? I said, no. <laughs> but we said we'd try. So what I'd like to do, I'd like to introduce you now, Mr. Harvin, because we have worked a little routine together. And by the way, if this trick's worked, I want you boys to give him the biggest round of applause for the whole day, if only if the trick works. But bring him a round of applause now and bring up the garden. <laughs> okay, now, um, remember what we talked about? Yes, we did. Yeah, okay, so uh, we'll get, get ready to position Mr. Harmon. Ready? And action. Hi, Mr. Harmon, how are you doing? Oh, good, good to see you. Imagine Mark, remember me? Oh, I do indeed, yeah. Lovely to see you again after all this time. You won't believe this, Mr. Harmon. But I've only cracked that invention I was telling you about. No. I, I really have. Do you want to see it? I'd love to see it. You want to see it? Fantastic. There you go. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Hey? Pretty good? It's the world's first, Mr. Harmon, invisible deck. The world's very first invisible deck. Now, Mr. Harmon, I'd like you to take this just like we practiced. And I would like you to shuffle the cards up as much as you can to give them a very good mix up. What do you do? Shuffling the cards. Take them out of the box first. Oh, I'm sorry. Put the box in your pocket and what? Thank you very much. Give them a good mix-up, get rid of the jokers. Now what I like to do, Mr. Hart, oh, very good. What I like to do, <laughs> you're getting good at this by the way. Uh, what I like to go into the crowd now and try and find an intelligent young man, that may take you a little bit of time. Uh, and I'd like you to then choose one and then get them to choose one of the cards as you go. So if you wouldn't mind, Mr. Hartman, go into the crowd and find someone to pick a card. Keep shuffling as you go. You can leave this. All right, have you made a selection? And what's your name? Zahil. Zahil, can you take a card out, Zahil? Have a good look at it, remember it, and give me one favour so I'll show it to the rest of the audience. Hold it up nice and a bit high so they can all see it. <laughs> and Mr. Hartley, if you wouldn't mind having the cards in place the wrong way round in the deck. The wrong way round. Thank you very much. Come back here. Have you take a stand there? If you wouldn't mind, have you got the card? You, Zahil, you remember the card? Don't forget it. I know you showed it to everyone. Can you put them back in the box, please, Mr. Harvin? And whenever you're ready, just throw them to me. Fantastic. Here we have it. I think Mr. Harvin did an absolutely fantastic job. Would you agree? Would you give him a round of applause? He did absolutely <laughs> job. Now that was a great round of applause. But I think if, if, if the card that Zahil was thinking of is the wrong way around in the deck, Mr. Harmon will deserve a much richer round. In fact, he'll deserve a standing ovation if he actually gets this, only if he gets the trick right. Agree? Are you with me? Are we in agreement? Zahil, for the first time, can you shout out the name of the card that you're just thinking of? Three of clubs. He said the nine of diamonds. What? No, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry again, Zahil, what was it? Three of clubs. The three of clubs. Are you sure that's the card you're thinking of? Okay, so for the very first time, we open this deck of cards. And what I like you to see is that the cards are all the wrong way around, except for what type of card did you see? What was it? Three of clubs. The three of clubs. You can see there's one card that's the wrong way around it. I think you see it's on the screen or in front of you here. There's only one card that's actually just turned the wrong way around. If this card is in fact the three of clubs that you're thinking of, though, I think Mr. Harmon deserves a standing ovation. So let's have a look. Are we right? Unbelievable. Well done, Mr. Harmon. <laughs>